Hi everybody! I'm super excited because I just got my kudos for the month, which is our sculpting trio kit. Like, I ordered it on Monday and it's Wednesday and it's already here. Like, I'm super excited. I can't even tell you. So, I just opened this. I don't know anything about it. We're going to learn about it together. But this is the box that comes in. Sculpting trio. It's so pretty, pretty. Then it comes with an instruction pamphlet, so you don't even have to know how to contour, which is really what this is about. So I don't, uh, you've probably seen me use bronzer because that seems like to be the simplest way to do it, but this is foolproof, so I'm really excited to learn to use this today. This month's kudos, you actually also get the Sculpting Trio brush. Look how pretty that is. It's so soft. Like, it's super, super soft. I can't explain it. I don't, you can't see it that it's so soft. You're just going to get it yourself to feel it. But this brush is actually um, retail going to be $32 when May is over. So, right now, you can get it for free. So, you get the Sculpting Trio kit for $49. This comes free. So, you're saving $32. Of course, I actually got it less than that. And if you want to know how I did that, let me know. And I can certainly help you with that. So, I'm going to open the box. It's like Christmas. So excited. I didn't think the mailman was going to bring it to me today. Like, it's a big deal. So there's three different um, sets of shades. There's light, medium, dark. And depending on what your foundation is that you normally wear, you would choose one of those. And if you go on my site or the link below, you can actually see um, which shade you should be. So I'm going with medium because I'm currently wearing satin. I, I don't know if I should be wearing satin, but that's what I'm wearing because it's, it feels like summer to me. So I'm trying to <laughs> pretend to be tan. So anyway, here's the pretty little box and it's very similar to our eyeshadow palettes. It's the same size. So that means when we put them all together in a nice little collection, it's going to be so pretty on my vanity. So I'm super sad about that. So anyway, when you open it up, it has, it's hard to see, these three little ladies on here with pictures. So if you lose your instructions, you already have um, something in the palette that shows you exactly where to put each of these three colors. So this just lifts right up. So it actually can stay in here. Um, you can pull it out if you want to, if you want to use a mirror, especially if you become an expert at this and you don't feel like you need that or you already are an expert, um, you might be. So there's three different colors. Um, they have a little shimmer to them. I think it's a shimmer. It may not even be a shimmer. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, there's a, a darker color, then more of a pinky color, and then this white color, which I'm assuming is going to be for highlighting. We'll find out in just a minute. And if you feel them... Wow, can't describe how that feels. So it doesn't feel like a blusher or a powder. It doesn't feel like a cream shadow. It doesn't feel like a cream foundation. I don't know, you're gonna have to, this is something I've never felt before. <laughs> Donna sounds kind of funny, but anyway, you'll have to just see, very interesting. It's very soft. I don't know, I wish I could explain it to you but it feels really cool. I can't wait to use this. So we're gonna open our little pamphlet up. There's three little faces on here, which I know are hard to see. And it basically breaks down the three colors and it tells you exactly what to put on, where to put it on. So the first thing it's telling us to do is to start with the cream contour, which is the darker of the three colors. So no matter what color you pick, it's gonna be one of these. So we're gonna start with this darker color. It even tells you what side of the brush to use. Yay for that. So I'm gonna use the angled end, which I'm gonna go with this being angled in. What do you think? I'm not good at geometry or anything, but it looks like an angle to me. And we're gonna put this on the corners of the mouth, which is down right here. And then you're going to put it on the sides of your nose, the tip of your nose, and it actually draws all of the face so you know exactly where to put each of these. And then on your forehead. So we're just gonna go with it, see what happens. I'm really excited about this. So here's the dark. And we're just gonna do our forehead first because I figured that's the easiest place to start. Oh man, that, that's soft. So I guess because it's not a powder, you don't have to worry about it just completely blending away when you do blend. So I can see definitely the benefits in that. So I'm doing my forehead, just looking at the lady on the picture, very simple. And then the cheekbones right underneath here. So, wow. That's so pretty already. We haven't even done any of the 
highlighting or anything. I hope you guys can see this as well as I can, but very, it feels so good too. All right, now we're gonna do the sides of our nose. I'm hoping I'm putting enough on. I'm probably not being as generous as I should because I'm a little nervous, but that feels funny, but I'm doing it. I never do this part of my nose, but it's in the picture, so we're gonna do it. And then right here under the lip. And I can't forget these sections. Now it's really funny that this is how we do this because back in the day I was always worried about having a makeup line right here. But now that's something you almost do on purpose because it really does slim your face. It's shocking. And then it says to blend all the areas where you applied using the angled end of your contour brush. Okay, so we're literally like blending it down onto her neck. And I guess that fixes the makeup line part of it. And contouring or sculpting as we're now calling it is not supposed to be something you see. You're not supposed to know that you've done this. It's supposed to look natural. So if you're looking at yourself doing this or me doing this and going, I can't tell that I've done anything, well, then you've probably done it right. So if you did before and after pictures, then you would absolutely be able to tell. So I'm going and do a little extra just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. All right, so I did that. Now, using the paddle end, we are going to do the highlighting pieces. So this looks pretty simple. The center right here, which in this light that already looks highlighted. And then we're gonna do right over the eyebrows, which this is really important to do in general, even if you're using a shadow or a light powder or something, because if you're doing your eyebrows, like we all should be doing now, you do not um, want to be able to see where you've actually done those. So that really makes those eyebrows pop. I hope my light's not a problem for you. So we're just doing it under the eyes under the eyes. This is the light color. This is so pretty. I wish I could explain this feeling. The cupid's bow right here. Straight down my nose. Did I already do that? I can't remember. Hopefully I didn't. And then under where you did that initial color, the dark. I'm sorry, my light is extra bright, so let me turn you down a little bit. See if that helps. And then she does it right here. A little person I'm looking at. That's it. So that's the, the light. Now, this next color, which is in my palette, it's the medium shade. It's almost like a, I wish I could, uh, this is not coloring right. It's almost like a pinkish brown. Not sure. It's the one that looks like it has a little shimmer to it, but I don't know for sure if it's a shimmer or just the texture of the product. But anyway, we're gonna take this, and this one says to apply with your fingers, which I never do anymore, so it's like old school. Oh, that feels so nice. There's definitely a shimmer to this. Okay, so this goes straight down. So when I did this stuff down my nose, I actually did a broad stroke, and this is just a tiny, little line straight down my nose and then a very tiny line on your cheekbones yep there's definitely shimmer in that that's so pretty and your cheekbones a little bit right here not a lot and then underneath your eyebrows again so if you're using our brow kit you're probably already putting something light and shimmery like our sexy mineral mineral pigments under there but if you aren't you should be and this is a perfect little set so you don't even have to think about it okay so those are done and then it says using your fingers will warm the 3d cream wow okay so apparently if you're using your fingers it Literally, the temperature in your fingers melts that cream, so it automatically blends 
so you don't even have to go back and use your blending buds or anything to do this. So that's that Kim Kardashian cheek. So pretty easy. I think I could probably have put on more of this brown here, but that's just me. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I like to look as slim as I can possibly look. And look, those cheekbones are just drawn right there. So I would have expected to have to go back and blend, but everything I'm reading, you don't have to. And looking at my face, I don't feel like I need to. This looks very natural, um, other than the highlighted cheeks. I guess if you had that summer glow, you might look like that or some of you already glow some of my clients just glow naturally so that is my first attempt at using the sculpting trio I am sure that over time I'll get better at this but if you want this I suggest you get this in May because it's already on back order for one and they literally went on back order in the first six or seven hours that we had them for sale on Monday and right now if you buy them you get the palette for $49 but you get this brush for free Whoops. <laughs> My camera got excited. Anyway, so you get this brush for free right now, which is um, going to be $32 in, um, what's the next month? June. So I would suggest not waiting. So if you have any questions, you know how to find me.